Hello YouTube family. Uh, I'm coming to y'all today with a dream that God had given me some years ago. And um, of course, a lot of my videos, I've been uh, backtracking on them because prior to getting on YouTube, I just recorded them on paper. So now I am uploading them on YouTube just to share with y'all my journey uh, of me growing up in Christ. Okay. And uh, so I think it'll be helpful to some of y'all who are, uh, you're not really understanding all the dreams and the visions and the visitations that you might be having that God is allowing. Usually time, that's a gift. So I'm sharing uh, this particular dream with you because uh, this was in my journey, on my way to learning what God had called me to do so in this dream i showed up in this classroom it was a classroom full of young students they looked like they could have been like college college students and uh of course they look young enough to be high school but they look like college students so what happened was there were two demons in the class, at the front of the class, teaching class to these young adult students. And it shocked, y'all, when I tell you it shocked me, it shocked me. I appeared standing right beside and I felt so out of place like, what am I doing here? And who are these things that I'm standing next to? <laughs> And y'all, when I tell you, they was, they was ukulele, ukulele, well, ugly, I meant to say. And, um, they was comfortable. They, they, they was comfortable. And so y'all, I mean, these students, while they were sitting in, in their seats, and I saw the students with the ink pen, I call it an ink pen from hell. Hold, hold on one second. I call it an ink pen. So while I'm talking with y'all, I'm going to draw a picture of what I think it, it looked like. And uh, the picture, oh, okay. And y'all, the picture was filled with liquid fire. And each student, it was kind of like a, a ballpoint pen, but it was real big. But it had liquid fire. And of course, I don't have the color up in here to 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 really show you. I, I have a, a a color a color red, and I'm coming back right back to y'all because I really want to show y'all that these young people had an ink pen, and I looked at them. And the ink pen was on fire. And the kids was trying their best to, to, to hold that pen. Okay. I'm just going to give y'all an example of what I think. It, it But look, the pen was beautiful. But it was hellish. Okay. But it was an ink pen from hell. And I'm gonna show y'all a picture of what I think, what what I think it, it looked like. Okay. All right. Okay. Now y'all. Now, now this here. Now I'm gonna show you a picture, written, and it might be seeming like I'm taking a lot of time with it, but this, the ink pen. It was an ink pen from, from hell. Okay? See the ink com coming out of there? That's fire. This red represents fire. It says ink pen from hell. And the students was, was holding this ink pen, y'all. But listen, this part was silver. This part was reddish orange. It was filled with lava. Okay? 
All right, so if I sound repetitive, I really didn't mean to, but I just want to bring it home as to what the students had in their hand. And I said, oh my God, I said, how are these students going to ho hold this pen? And, and they were getting ready to take a test. So these demons were in class. They, they had already been there before I appeared. So they was just getting ready to teach them and I showed up. And y'all, I'm telling my observation, I was in shock. And the students really didn't have no, it, you could tell they was kind of blase as if they didn't recognize the demons to be demons. And so, but they were holding the pen, but the pen was hot. And I don't know how they held on to it, but it was hot. So after I came out the dream, God had revealed to me, he gave me the interpretation of the dream. That the ink pen represent the test, the test of life. The demons were the ones that that that, that was going to teach them. I was there to show them how to take the test. See, the demons give test. I was there to show them how to take the test. Okay, how to pass it. So that's what God was showing me, and I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, the Bible talks about test trials, afflictions, pressure, having done all stand, uh, how you'll go through the fire. You won't be burned. How you, 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 you may go through the waters, but you won't drown. The Bible talks about fiery tests, how that, that there are times that you get fiery tests, you don't know where they're coming from. Uh, like when you put on the whole arm of God, how that, that, um, what it talks about, the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Um, the Bible says, and you shall come out as pure Goal. God is the potter. Uh, uh, we, we, we are, uh, God is the potter. We are the clay. Uh, how that God is molding us. There's always a test and trial, but y'all, let, let me tell you something. God already knows the end of the test. See, some of us, we're going to have to go to class more than one time until we get it right. Because we don't understand the test that we're taking. But believe it or not, you already passed the test. You've already got the victory. Okay. But there are times because of our disobedience or because of lack of understanding or, 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 or just because of just plain rebellion, we may have to take that test over and over and over and over again. But the Bible talks about a wise son takes heed to instruction, takes heed to wisdom takes heed to understanding okay so i thought the dream was was pretty phenomenal but y'all it scared me I, I i gotta be honest when i when i showed up in that class and i was standing by those two demons y'all can't even explain what they look like that's that's all i remember i knew that they were they, they were ugly looking and i knew that they were from hell i looked at them they looked at me but i knew that my purpose you know, God, after I got out the dream, God, God really showed me my purpose was there because it shocked me. But I kind of knew, you know, once I got there, I'm like, what in the world? These, these children got hot pins from hell in, in their hand and lava. So that means for those who are mature in Christ or you think you are mature, we cannot burn the school down for the younger ones coming up under us. You know, so there are some of us. No, I ain't going to say us because I know I haven't arrived. But to those who you think you've arrived, uh, it, it, it's not your time to burn the school down. It's your time to teach patiently. The Bible talks about those that are mature. You have to teach the younger ones. So we have to teach the younger people in Christ or whether they're in Christ or whether they are or uh, 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 somebody who don't know God, the Bible talks about to help those who oppose themselves, who oppose God and God's word. You know, there are times that God may place us in people's path and we may have to uh, pray and ask God to open up the eyes of their understanding so that we can minister to them. Okay.
So I just want to share that with you for those who are teachers or you mature in the Lord and, uh, and, 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 and you love people. Uh, and safe as God call you to minister to young people. Please don't burn the school down. Uh, the Bible tells us to be patient, long suffering, gentle, kind, enduring. <laughs> uh, because this is something that the Bible tells us to work out our soul salvation. So for those of us who have walked a beaten path, we know all those who mature, we know we haven't arrived just yet, but what you have, what beaten path you have made and what light you have shined, shining back on the other ones so other ones can see their way coming up as well. Uh, and people like us are called pioneers, you know, uh, showing the young ones the way. So we want to keep the light shining, be a beacon. The Bible calls us the salt of the earth. We are light that sit upon the hill. So I just want to encourage all those who are out there. You love the Lord. You're in the word. If you got a YouTube page, begin to share the word of God. Uh, and I'm going to begin to share some other videos uh, just teaching about salvation, teaching about God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Uh, about the angels, about Satan, his fallen angels, or uh, the demons, that, that's the half God, half human, the Nephilims, you know. So God has been teaching me that whatever he teaches you in the word, begin to teach others, shine that light. Don't hold it back. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. If you, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. So if we lift him up, he'll do the drawing. Never be ashamed of the gospel. Jesus said, if we own him in front of people, he will acknowledge us in front of God and the angels. But if we disown him, he's going to disown us in front of God and the angels. So we don't want to do that. We want to share what God teaches us and share it, you know, um, with, with joyfulness of heart, letting people know that I, I've been doing a lot of videos on hell, but I want to lighten up just a little bit and begin to let people know how to avoid hell. And how to live a victorious life in Christ. Okay. So, so that we can make it in because we can make it in. You know, there is a way we can secure our salvation by consistent living in Christ. And if you fall, get up off your knees, dust it off and keep going. So I just wanted to share that video with you to let you know that if you're in a classroom and, and Satan has given you an ink pen from hell, remember God's word. And when God sent people in your path to teach you how to pass that, that test and trial, please listen and take heed. It'll make going through that test just a lot much more easier. But if we choose not to listen, Satan going to come in with depression, oppression, all kind of stuff and make you feel like life is worth, worthless. But it's not worthless. It's worth the living. God created you for a purpose. He brought you here for a reason. And don't you give up. Okay? All we got to do is pray and ask God. You know, what, what is our purpose? What, what did you call me here to do? Uh, what you want me to do? You know, have, have, have a willing heart, a, a humble heart, a contrite heart. God, God is near a contrite heart. So I just want to share that with y'all. I love y'all. Uh, for those who don't know Christ as their personal savior, now is the day of salvation. Uh, we living in these days and times where Jesus Christ is getting ready to come soon, but we have to be found with our hand to the plow, continuing to work for the Lord, preach for the Lord until he part those skies and come get his saints up out of here because we, we're in those last days. So for those who don't know Christ, please accept Christ as your personal savior today. Now is the day of salvation. Repeat this after me. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. And I come to you asking that you forgive me of my sins. I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. I believe that if I die today in heaven, I would lift my eyes. Thank, ooh, thank you, Jesus, for receiving me into your kingdom. And I love you, Lord. And I ask that you lead me and guide me uh, until you come to get us up out of here. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if y'all repeated that prayer, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I'll see you on the other side. So for those if you don't have a Bible, buy your Bible or either go online, uh, upload one or either go to Google uh, and, and, and uh, upload a Bible. Begin to read, see God, ask God to show himself to you, to lead you the way. And he will. So I love y'all. 
Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, leave it uh, on my comments. And uh, I'll answer some questions for you uh, in the comments. All right. I love you all. Be blessed.